And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various things of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government way. college, yeah, Ujeli. And go, uh, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the way they come. That other camp, some go camp. No compensate everybody. But some of them. In a key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this poem, Akbar Dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some lives that are meaningful, with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Welcome to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. What is your name? Uh, my name is uh, Mba Armstrong. I'm the manager of uh, Tropical Wood Processing. Um, tropical Wood Processing is situated um, in the neighborhood of the Sokolo here in Limbe. I'm from the Meta tradition, the Meta tribe. Um, and uh, Meta is situated somewhere in, the, in Bengui, Momo Division in the Northwest Province. And uh, my parents came here a long time ago, settled in the city center. Working. Now, can you show me some of the machines you have? I have a lot of machines. Well, um, we have, there are three, four or four kinds of machines present, four kinds of basic machines present in any carpentry place or any carpentry workshop or in any big workshop. Um, we have the main machines like the planer, um, the sewing machine and the spindle. So um, first here we have the mortise machine. It is used to bore holes. Um, so that later on you can make tenons and put it inside. It is used to fabricate mortise and tenon joints. You know, with furnitures we have joints, we have mitre joints, we have mortise and tenon joints and so on. So this is the mortise or the mortising machine. Uh -huh. Then the next machine, this one is a supplement of all the other machines. That is a kind of combination machine. A kind of machine which you use to combine all kind of work. It does planing, it does sewing, it does spindling too. So um, this is a combination machine as a supplement to the workshop. That if the other machines fail, or if any kind of machine fail, then we come and use it here. If the planer fail, then we use the planer here. If the saw fail, we use the saw here. So it is a combination machine, or we call it uh, a multi-purpose or an operational machine. It can be but expensive. It can be expensive, but not as expensive as the other one, because he is a combination of other small ones. Okay. You understand? But one of his component, component is not as powerful as a single machine. So it okay. is being combined. It can be used for smaller workshops. Um, somebody wants to open his own small workshop in the quartier. It is good you use it so that you want to play in a small thing you play. You want to saw a small thing you play. You do that. It does, it does planing and shooting. So you just saw the planing machine okay. um, for the planer. Okay. It has, um, it has to deal with planing. That is cleaning the surface. Um, the surface can be cleaned through what we call surfacing and it can be done through planing that is passing it on a particular scale of dimension and it can also be do shooting that is that is making the edges straight and square the dimension then the next machine is a sewing machine that's a sewing machine um, to the right we have the mortisa a, a, subsidiary, a, a subsidiary mortisa attached to it so its purpose is to saw wood. It's a saw line. Divide wood into various dimensions. So that is a saw machine. Then, the spindle. Why is it called a spindle? Because it spins with a very high velocity. And it is the most risky machine you can find in any carpentry workshop. This is the kind of machine which most people's hands Cut people's finger. What is his job? His job is to put on mold. 
to put on, to put, um, uh, let's say, for decoration and uh, to do something like rabbiting, to do something like molding, and to do something like uh, the, the, the tenor for a mortise. So that is, that is, that, 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 that one is called a spindle. Wow. And uh, this place can be very noisy. Why don't your workers have something for ear protection or so? Well, um, as I can say, we provide the safety measures and it is up to them to use it or not to use it. Sometimes we provide them those safety measures and they complain that when they put it in their ears or they put it in their eyes, it, they feel inconvenient working. So, well, it is up to them. <laughs> I see some wood there. What kind of wood is that? It's for what purpose? Under, under the tree? Yeah. No, that one is firewood. That one is sawn into, into logs. And these logs can be splitted and uh, it, it, it works it's, it's inside the kitchen. It's for, for, for fuel in the kitchen. I see you um, transporting wood to a major client. Yes. What does it take to carry wood to someone who has paid for it? Well, first it is good to have a customer. You know, in marketing it's uh, very difficult to get a customer. And it's easy to lose a customer. So that's why we do our best. To supply the best to every customer and to treat him the best. So that he goes and comes back. So you are going to deposit it? I'm going to deposit myself. That's why I take pains to go to the shop to see what they do, see what the difficulties they face and to know how to, to, to supply the best. But you you said earlier on that we have a lot of um, wood. Yes. But if we have wood and it's not being replanted, what have you to say? Um, are the you aware of, of climate change and of all Of course, that? the conservation of forest, uh, um, this is a new program, um, a new structural adjustment program brought in uh, by the international community through the Minister of uh, Forest and Wildlife, Cameroon. And I think that if this program is being applied generally without corruption, I think it will move. What is the program? The program says that when you saw down a tree, you make sure you plant at least five of them. And if we follow this system, if we follow this procedure well, I think in the nearest future we'll continue to have forests in Cameroon. But you go into the forest to have wood. Can you testify that we still have some wood there? We still have some wood in the forest. But I bet you, not everybody manages the forest well as another person. And when you look deeply to those who exploit the forest, there are those people, those people who care less about what the forest will produce tomorrow. Those who care less about uh, uh, the, 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 the future of our children, or the future of what the forest will look like. You see, when you look, even Europeans, even those who come abroad, they cut the forest, they destroy the forest, and they carry it away. Because they pay so many taxes to government, they pass through so, so many things, and if government officials, they take bribe, they take all kinds of things, put it in their pocket, and they forget about what the real objective is. That is cutting down a tree and plant five. So it is being difficult. You understand? Us locally, we can apply that. But generally, how do we do? Not everybody will go for that. Can you reach your people in your dialect and tell them to understand this business you're doing so that it can encourage other people and especially those of your area? Go okay. ahead. This is people, places, and events. Okay. Makabu chara mutambi na nengti ni. Makabu gambo many fazin ba fabu bong ayaf aki. Makabu gambo many bu bu business bong beti no wa pay wa naka. Ami yenga business o abri kiri ni no no abri kwenye ni no no ni agusi tini wani chebe fa chego mene na fa. Baga wa ba mutambi ni yega ni bi 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 yani bi yega bi nenga nenga ba na business wani chebe chapa bu fa kwenye ba fa akapenda fa akapenda ba na akap. Thank you very much for talking to the African Centre for Community and Development. Thank you very much. And to people, places and events. And I hope through the venue of this program, your voice shall be heard by the millions who are going to be watching you. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, you just listened to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various things of our country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government college, Ujeli.